guys, Jar6, welcome back to the channel. So, one of the good things about YouTube is that you can learn a lot. You know, YouTube's and platforms like this, it gives you the ability to go and, and go and subscribe to channels that do training and, and learn. And, and I gotta tell you guys, nothing wrong with that. I have talked about that a lot. You know, that, that's just a way to, to learn. But nothing replaces formal training. And I talked about that uh, in the past as well. You wanna make sure that you are well trained. Now, the problem that comes to YouTube and platforms like this is that a lot of guys are training out there, a lot of guys are sharing information that are straight up wrong, and in my opinion, and a lot of guys are learning from those channels, and again, you're creating that bad muscle memory. You know, you see this guy doing this, so you're gonna do it as well. And one of the things that I typically see, and I think is funny, is when this, uh, 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 I call him ninja slash operator, rack the slide like 10 times. I mean, it amazes me how fast they can rack the slide. I mean, it takes a lot of training. They do this. I mean, it, it, it's just hilarious how they do that. So, I got to tell you guys, the thing about that is that I, I, I get the point why you was like, you, you rack the slide so many times. But the, the thing that kind of is disturbing or the thing that I don't like and I think is unsafe is what happened after that. After they rack the slide... They squish the trigger or they pull the trigger and they holster the gun. And I don't think that is a safe way to clear a gun. I think that clearing a gun, it, it takes a process. You know, it, it's, it, it's more than that. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to show you something that I learned in the past. And, and I got to tell you guys, this is extremely critical. Because you don't want to have, you don't want to find yourself in a situation where you go out there, CCW, you'll find yourself in some type of confrontation. And you survive that confrontation and then you come home and shoot yourself because you weren't paying attention. And if we relate this to combat guys, there's guys that go out there in patrols, that you know, fighting the bad guys, doing all these good things, or you know, trying to do these missions and then they come home or they go inside the base and they have some type of ND because they weren't paying attention. So with that being said guys, let me show you something that I learned. All right guys, so several times in my deployment, I was either a gunner or I was issued an M249, which is a squad automatic weapon, but I typically found myself in a gun in top of a truck, you know, either a uh, Mar-19, uh, M250 Cal, 240 Golf, and things like that. Now I had a guy that this guy was awesome. I gotta tell you, this guy was one of my mentors in the Marine Corps, and he was an old 331 machine gunner before he came into the military police side of the house. And I gotta tell you guys, he shows something that is called a five point safety check. Now, a five point safety check, what he means is that you're gonna check five different things on the weapon in order to declare that gun safe. Now, of course, this is for a machine gun. This is not gonna apply completely to a pistol. But what you could do is that you could get the concept of the five point safety uh, five point safety check and apply it to any weapon. Pretty much you are gonna create your standard operation procedure where you're gonna say, okay, I'm gonna check one this location, two this location, three this location. And what you are doing is that you are creating muscle memory, guys. I know I said five point safety check, but I gotta tell you, you would do those five point safety checks in like seconds and you will guarantee that that gun is safe. Alright guys, so again, the five point safety check is going to be up to you. You could declare whatever numbers you want, but for example, in my case, one, it's going to be the magazine well. I'm going to check that it's not a magazine in there. So, essentially, I'm going to come back, I'm going to look at it. I'm going to put eyes on it. Remember guys, you got to put eyes on this. You know, you got to look at it, you got to feel it, you got to like, check it. So, one, magazine well. Two, I'm going to rack the slide to the rear. Again, I'm clearing my weapon, so I have time. I'm not, I'm, I'm not reloading from combat. I'm, not doing, I'm clearing my weapon, so I have my time to check my weapon. So two, I'm going to rack the, uh, I'm gonna lock the slide to the rear. Three, I'm going to check the chamber. So I'm going to put eyes on the chamber. Four, I'm going to check the, the firing pin area back here at that location. You don't want to make sure a round got stuck there or something like that. Five, I'm going to check the space between the firing pin and the, the chamber. Again, it's a small space. I want to make sure that it's not around in there. Now, I got to tell you guys, when it comes to the pistol, if you look into this space right here, you could pretty much see all those points at one. I mean, you could just look at it and, and see it. 
but this is not just for the pistol. This is something that you're going to create for every firearm. When it comes to an AK, when it comes to, to a, a rifle, it may be a longer space. So if you create that muscle memory in every platform, you're always going to do it. And again, guys, it's not going to take time. You're going to clear your weapon. You're going to quickly look. You're going to lock it to the rear. You're going to look. You're going to inspect. And now you know that it is clear. You know, what you could do, and this is just a, a, another step, number six, you could have a guy check your gun to make sure it's clear. Again, we're talking about storing your gun. We're talking about you got home and you check your gun and, and you know you want to clear your gun. This is the purpose to clear your gun. Again, guys, there is no reason to do this. That is not clearing the gun. So again, that is my opinion. Let me know what you think. Remember, the five point safety check is going to be up to you. You will declare what points you want to check. Maybe you want to do a three point safety check. Maybe you want to do a 25 point safety check. It is up to you. I appreciate you guys watching. If you like this type of videos, click like, subscribe to the channel, share my videos. And guys, like always, God is in control.